Lusatia is an historical region in Central Europe. It stretches from the bar cubed Bion Quisa rivers in the east to the Elbe Valley in the west, today located within the German states of Saxony and Brandenburg and the Lower Silesian and Lubosvoevo chips of western Poland. After the conquest of eastern Germany by the Soviet Army and the partition in 1945, the eastern part of Lusatia along the Lusatian Nice River was handed over to Poland where the boundary is called the Odera Euro Nice Line. In the Polish part, Polish is spoken and in the German part German, Upper and Lower Sorbian. The biggest Lusatian town is Cottbus Car Cubed Angstrom Ebus. The name derives from the Sorbian word Angstrom way three quarters icy meaning swamps, or water hole. Geography Lusatia comprises two both scenically and historically different parts, a hilly southern upper section and a lower region, which belongs to the North European plain. The border between Upper and Lower Lusatia is roughly marked by the course of the Black Elster River at Senftenberg and its eastern continuation toward the Silesian town of Bzua Cubed Z on the Lusatian Nice. Neighboring regions were Silesia in the east, Bohemia in the south, the Margraviate of Meissen and the Duchy of Sakes Wittenberg in the west, as well as the Margraviate of Brandenburg in the north. Equals Upper Lusatia equals. Upper Lusatia is today part of the German state of Saxony except for a small part east of the Nice River around Lubaya, which now belongs to the Polish Lower Silesian Voivodeship. It consists of hilly countryside rising in the south to the Lusatian highlands near the Czech border, and then even higher to form the Zital Hills, the small northern part of the Lusatian mountains in the Czech Republic. Upper Lusatia is characterized by fertile soil and undulating hills as well as by historic towns and cities such as Barton, Gar Paragraph RLITZ, Zitau, La Paragraph Bau, Carmens, Lubaya, Bischofsvda, Herrenhut, Hosvda, and Bad Muskau. Many villages in the very south of Upper Lusatia contain a typical attraction of the region, the so called Umjbintar currency user, half timbered houses representing a combination of Franconian and Slavic style. Among those villages are Niederkinnersdorf, Oberkinnersdorf, Weersdorf, Jonsdorf, Soland and Esprit with Taubenheim, Upch, Warnsdorf or Ebersbach. Equals Lower Lusatia equals. Most of the area belonging to the German state of Brandenburg today is called Lower Lusatia and is characterized by forests and meadows. In the course of much of the 19th and the entire 20th century, it was shaped by the lignite industry and extensive open pit mining. Important towns include Cottbus, Eisenhower one quarter Tenstadt, La one quarter BBEN, La one quarter BBENAU, Spremberg, Finsterwalde, Senftenberg, and Angstrom R, which is now considered the capital of Polish Lusatia. Between Upper and Lower Lusatia is a region called the Grenzwall, literally meaning border dike, although it is in fact a morainic ridge. In the Middle Ages this area had dense forests, so it represented a major obstacle to civilian and military traffic. Some of the region's villages were damaged or destroyed by the open pit lignite mining industry during the DDR era. Some, now exhausted, former open pit mines are now being converted into artificial lakes, with the hope of attracting holidaymakers, and the area is now being referred to as the Lusatian Lake District. Lusatian Capitals As Lusatia is not, and never has been, a single administrative unit, Upper and Lower Lusatia have different, but in some aspects similar, histories. The city of Cottbus is the largest in the region, and though it is recognized as the cultural capital of Lower Lusatia, it was a Brandenburg exclave since 1445. Historically, the administrative centers of Lower Lusatia were at Lucke and La One Quarter BBEN, while the historical capital of Upper Lusatia is Barton. Since 1945, when a small part of Lusatia east of the Oder Nice line was incorporated into Poland, Angstrom R has been touted as the capital of Polish Lusatia. Sorbian Lusatian people More than 60,000 of the Sorbian Slavic minority continue to live in the region. Historically, their ancestors are West Slavic speaking tribes such as the Milseni, who settled in the region between the Elba and the Zal. Many still speak their language and road signs are usually bilingual. However, note that the number of all the inhabitants of this part of eastern Saxony is fast declining, 
by 20% in the last 10 to 15 years. Sorbians try to protect their typical culture shown in traditional clothes and the style of village houses. The coal industry in the region destroyed dozens of Lusatian villages in the past and threatens some of them even now. The Sorbian language is taught in many primary and some secondary schools and at two universities. Project Wittage is a project of eight preschools where Sorbian is currently the main language for a few hundred Lusatian children. There is a daily newspaper in the Sorbian language. A Sorbian radio station uses local frequencies of two otherwise German-speaking radio stations for several hours a day. There are very limited programs on television in Sorbian on two regional television stations. History equals Earliest history equals, according to the earliest records, the area was settled by culturally Celtic tribes. Later, around 100 BC, the Germanic tribe of the Semnones settled into that area. The name of the region may be derived from that of the Lygians. From around 600 onwards, West Slavic tribes known as the Milceni and Lusiusi settled permanently in the region. In the 10th century the region came under the influence of the Kingdom of Germany, starting with the 928 Eastern Campaigns of King Henry the Fowler. Until 963 the Lusatian tribes were subdued by the Saxon Margrave Giro and upon his death two years later, the March of Lusatia was established on the territory of today's Lower Lusatia and remained with the Holy Roman Empire, while the adjacent Northern March again got lost in the Slavic Uprising of 983. The later Upper Lusatian region of the Milceni lands up to the Silesian border at the Kwisa River at first was part of the Margraviate of Meissen under Margrave Ekadi. At the same time, the Kingdom of Poland raised claims to the Lusatian lands, and upon the death of Emperor Otto III in 1002, Margrave Giro II lost Lusatia to the Polish Duke Bolesław I, who took the region in his conquests. After the 1018 Peace of Barton, Lusatia became part of his territory, however Germans and Poles continued struggling for administration of the region. It was regained in a 1031 campaign by Emperor Conrad II in favor of the Saxon-German rulers of the Meissen House of Wettin and the Iskanian Margraves of Brandenburg, who purchased the March of Lusatia in 1303. In 1367 the Brandenburg elector Otto V of Wittelsbach finally sold Lower Lusatia to Emperor and Bohemian King Charles IV and it was incorporated into the Kingdom of Bohemia. Equals Bohemian rule equals, as Margrave Egbert II of Meissen supported anti-King Rudolf of Rienfelden during the investiture controversy, King Henry IV of Germany in 1076 awarded the Milseny lands of Upper Lusatia as a fief to the Bohemian Duke Vratislav II. After Emperor Frederick Barbarossa had elevated Duke Vladislaus II to the rank of a King of Bohemia in 1158, the Upper Lusatian lands around Bartzen evolved into a Bohemian crown land. Around 1200 large numbers of German settlers came to Lusatia in the course of the Oststlung, settling in the forested areas yet not inhabited by the Slavs. The Bohemian rule in Upper Lusatia was secured with the extinction of the rival Brandenburg House of Ascania in 1320 and the rise of the Luxembourg dynasty, kings of Bohemia since 1310. In 1346 six Upper Lusatian cities formed the Lusatian League to resist the constant attacks conducted by robber barons. The association supported King Sigismund in the Hussite Wars leading to armed attacks and devastation. The cities were represented in the Lusatian Landtag Assembly, where they met with the fierce opposition of the noble state countries. Following the Lutheran Reformation, the larger part of Lusatia became Protestant except for the area between Barton, Carmens and Hosfoda. The Lusatias remained under Bohemian rule, from 1526 onwards under the rule of the House of Habsburg, until the Thirty Years' War. Equals Saxon rule equals. According to the 1635 Peace of Prague most of Lusatia became a province of the electorate of Saxony, except for the region around Cottbus possessed by Brandenburg. After the Saxon elector Augustus the Strong was elected King of Poland in 1697, Lusatia became strategically important as the elector kings sought to create a land connection between their Saxon homelands and the Polish territories. Heron Hart, between La Paragraph Bo and Zitau, 
founded in 1722 by religious refugees from Arabia on the estate of Count Nicholas and Zendorf became the starting point of the organized Protestant missionary movement in 1732 and missionaries went out from the Moravian church in Herrenhut to all corners of the world to share the gospel. The newly established Kingdom of Saxony however sided with Napoleon, therefore at the 1815 Congress of Vienna, Lusatia was divided, with Lower Lusatia and the northeastern part of Upper Lusatia around Hosfoda, Rothenburg, Gar Paragraph RLITZ and Lorben awarded to Prussia. Only the southwestern part of Upper Lusatia, which included La Paragraph Bau, Kamenz, Bartzen and Zittau, remained part of Saxony. Equals Prussian and German rule equals, the Lusatians in Prussia demanded that their land become a distinct administrative unit, but Lower Lusatia was incorporated into the province of Brandenburg, while the Upper Lusatian territories were attached to the province of Silesia instead. The 19th and early 20th centuries witnessed an era of cultural revival for Slavic Lusatians. The modern languages of Upper and Lower Lusatian emerged, national literature flourished and many national organizations such as Moika Srpska and Domowina were founded. This era came to an end during the Nazi regime in Germany, when all Sorbian organizations were abolished and forbidden, newspapers and magazines closed, and any use of the Sorbian languages was prohibited. During World War II, some Sorbian activists were arrested, executed, exiled or sent as political prisoners to concentration camps. From 1942 to 1944 the underground Lusatian National Committee was formed and was active in Nazi-occupied Warsaw. Equals since 1945 equals. After World War II according to the Potsdam Agreement, Lusatia was divided between Allied-occupied Germany and the Republic of Poland along the odera euro nice line. Poland's communist government expelled all remaining Germans and Sorbs from the area east of the Nice River during 1945 and 1946. The Lusatian National Committee in Prague claimed the right to self-government and separation from Germany and the creation of a Lusatian Free State or attachment to Czechoslovakia. The majority of the Sorbian intelligentsia was organized in the Domowina, though, and did not wish to split from Germany. Claims asserted by the Lusatian national movement were postulates of joining Lusatia to Poland or Czechoslovakia. Between 1945 and 1947 they produced about ten memorials to the United States, Soviet Union, Great Britain, France, Poland and Czechoslovakia, however, this did not bring any results. On April 30, 1946, the Lusatian National Committee also submitted a petition to the Polish government, Signed by Poya Kyar one quarter a euro the minister and an official Sorbian delegate in Poland. There was also a project to proclaim a Lusatian free state, whose prime minister was intended to be the Polish archaeologist of Lusatian origin a euro Wojciech Kar Kubdakar. In 1945, the northeastern part of Upper Lusatia west of the Nice rejoined Saxony and in 1952, when the state was divided into three administrative areas, the Upper Lusatian region became part of the Dresden Administrative Region. After the East German Revolution of 1989, the state of Saxony was re-established in 1990. Lower Lusatia remained with Brandenburg, from 1952 until 1990 in the Bezirk of Cottbus. In 1950, the Sorbs obtained language and cultural autonomy within the then East German state of Saxony. Lusatian schools and magazines were launched and the Domowina Association was revived, although under increasing political control of the ruling Communist Socialist Unity Party of Germany. At the same time, the large German-speaking majority of the Upper Lusatian population kept up a considerable degree of local, Upper Lusatian patriotism of its own. An attempt to establish a Lusatian land within the Federal Republic of Germany failed after German reunification in 1990. The constitutions of Saxony and Brandenburg guarantee cultural rights, but no autonomy, to the Sorbs. Demographics in 1900, share of Sorbs, Cottbus 55.8%, Hosford 37.8%, Bartzen 17.7%, Rothenburg 17.2%, Carmen 7.1%. Total number, 93,032. The number of Sorbs in Lusatia has decreased since the 1900 census due to intermarriage, cultural assimilation related to industrialization and urbanization, 
Nazi suppression and discrimination, and the settlement of expelled Germans after World War II, mainly from Lower Silesia and Northern Bohemia. See also, Herrenhard Moravian Church and Nikolaus Zendorf, Lusatian League, Melsony, Wenz, Obtrites. References External links